Hey, this is Daniel Norton. I'm here in my studio in New York City, and today we're gonna to make some portraits of Marissa. But before she gets here, I wanna talk a little bit about what I'm gonna do here. So a lot of times, you know, before the subject gets here, even though I don't know exactly how I'm gonna light it and stuff, I'll set up gear. Today we're gonna to do something a little more challenging, at least for catching the video. We're gonna shoot with the natural light. I'm on the 12th floor of a building with south-facing windows. We have beautiful light coming in here all day, but it's changing. It's gonna go up and down. And also, just having flat, Light coming in the window is good for some shots, but maybe not all. So I'm gonna use a variety of gear, some reflectors, some uh, silks, and we're gonna adjust our light as needed. So there's lots of ways you can modify the natural light. And some of those things actually kind of exist in the world anyways, and you can kind of take a clue from it, right? Like I'm in the studio and I have silks on the window. I basically have drapes hanging down that are uh, like a translucent, right? So in the photo world, we have things that are designed like that that are very specifically made. So I have the Shamira system, so it's got quarter stop, half stop, full stop silks. The reason why this is better than just using, let's say the window shades, is because we'll know always what that exposure will be and we can get used to it. We, don't, we know how it's gonna affect the color, we know how it's gonna affect our shot. So using something that's consistent is gonna help us. I've got a several four by four frames. I'm gonna build a couple of reflectors, a couple of different silks, and I also have a cookie pattern. So let me show you how this stuff works. Each of the, the frames come in its own little bag. They come in different shapes uh, and sizes, but these four by fours are really nice. What's really cool about this system is that the, the tubing here is 5 eighths, which is kind of your standard size, right? So this would go into a, uh, a knuckle, let's say, on a C-stand. So when I mentioned 5 eighths earlier for the size of the tubing, that means it fits perfectly inside one of these, right? This is a grip head or a knuckle, a 25 hour C-stand. That's gonna allow me to basically put my frames wherever I want. You can also have somebody hold them, obviously. Something we're not gonna use though, which might be really useful to some people, is they also make scrims or silks. So this is basically like a black net fabric. And what this does is it cuts the amount of light without changing its quality. So if I'm outside, let's say in the bright sun, and I put a silk over somebody's head, it's gonna make the light softer. The, the, the scrim won't do that, it'll just reduce the amount of light. So it's, it's a good way to kind of balance things out if you're gonna do that kind of stuff. Okay, so we're gonna shoot tethered as always, right? So I come into my computer here, and I'm just gonna quickly open up Capture One. All we need to do is, you know, I keep it here at the bottom. Oop, Capture One. And we're gonna start a new session. session. I always shoot directly to the desktop to make it easy. I'm going to put today's date and I always put the year first. That way it keeps it in order. I'll put the subject's name and then this one's going to be, we're going to make, do a natural light portrait. So I'm just going to call it natural light portrait. But then what I can do is going to name all the, the images that, which maybe is a little bit long. So I'm just going to take that part away and just click call with her name like that. Once you do that, we're good to go. Tell me I need to update. I don't want to do that right now. And we're in our capture screen. I can see it already has my camera and we're ready. Okay, so I got Marissa here. And she's, I said, Marissa, dress casual. Dress casual. So <laughs> exactly. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of move around. The great thing about working with natural is we have a lot of options here. So uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna start off just really simple, right? This is actually just really, really pretty light right here. You see, I don't have her in the bright light, right? The bright light's back here. I don't have her in it. That's gonna create our shadows. This is basically flat light, right? Nice and simple. And what I can do is I'm just gonna use the meter in my camera. Grab my camera. This is an Icon Z6. Uh, you know, I know that I'm, you know, it's not particularly bright in here, so I'm just gonna automatically jump up to ISO, let's say 800. That would run a good spot. This camera is easily, uh, can easily shoot the ISO 800 without too much trouble. I'm gonna go 1 one twenty five with my shutter, and I'm gonna start it at four, and we'll see what we get. And let's come in here and just move. And I'll just take a peek. Okay, so this is actually bright. That's good for me. So I'm gonna come in and just drop my ISO so it looks right, and we'll pick You know, easy as that. There she is. Of course, there's a bunch of junk in the background. Come in. Nice and sharp. Beautiful, soft light. It's still directional, right? Even though, because remember the camera picks up a lot more contrast than our eye does. So we look in here and we're like, this is super flat, but all this stuff, all this highlight that's coming on this side of her is affecting our shot. So let me kind of move this gear out of the back. And we 
let's see what we got again. So I've got a couple options. Let's start with the reflector. Right. I'm just gonna see what it looks like. If I bring the reflector up, I can just kind of even her out with it. Yeah. Obviously, I'll put this on the stand if we're gonna use it, but just kind of, even though it's big, it's pretty lightweight, so I can just kind of uh, and hold it like this if I need to, just to get an idea. Yeah, there we go. Nice and pretty. Okay. Clean headshot. Now you might be wondering, Daniel, you cut off the top of her head. Yes, I did. <laughs> All right, let's put this on. So actually, I think I'll use an arm for this. So what's going on, Melissa? Oh, yeah? <laughs> Do you have an elf on the shelf? No, those things are too creepy. It reminds me of that doll, Annabelle, that's like in the fall of the Hold on, what? There's like, there's a horror movie about a doll that just like, is like here at different places in the house and it like ends up murdering all these people. And I feel like that's totally off awesome itself. Like it's just a doll that moves when you're not looking. <laughs> okay. Apparently, I, I am, you know, I'm not the movie watcher that you are, so. <laughs> Annabelle. I switched to the gold side because, you know, Marissa is golden. Coming in. Nice and simple. Yeah, you can actually go like this slightly with your face. There you go. And this will give us, again, nice, really clean, kind of classic, Really pretty headshot, kind of like. So I am a manual, guys, and I'm just watching, you know, because like, it's a mirrorless camera, but I'm also just looking at my meter, too. So I can see the exposure, and I'm just adjusting. I'm also using a little bit of that background, like I'm just getting the edge of the background in there, just kind of got some depth. It's out of focus, but it's nice to kind of have like something. But if you didn't like care for that again, you can always find it. Now, if we have her look it work this way instead, it's going to look off this way. Right. We can play around with this, so I can take my exposure now. Again, I'm going to I'm going to go to my ISO first, but I'd rather have that low if I can. And now I'm basically making a, a slightly moodier shot, right? I'm creating a base exposure here. It's, it's a little hot, but it's not completely blown out. And we're getting like kind of an interesting depth here. In fact, let's remove this all together. I know, we're going contrasty. You know, so we're looking at the light in space and we're creating something, right? If you were lighting this, you might have, this could be a light back here, right? Yeah, I like that. It has this kind of like warm feel to it. The lighting is kind of warm today. Uh, what I am going to do, though, make it a little more even, is I'm going to pop this window. Because I have some of these shades closed. There we go. This is a hard light, right? She's blinded. Yeah. So go like this with your face, like this, yeah. yeah. You can close your eyes for a second. Bring your chin up. Okay. And again, I'm just going to adjust. Because at this point, my my ISO is so low, I'm going to bring my shutter up. You can create like a much harder light. So I'm just going to just going to look straight ahead of you when I tell you to. One, two, three, open, good, close. Okay. Now I've created this like much harder, way too hard for my taste. Okay, so I've got a couple things going on here. I've got my half silk here, which is giving me basically a nice soft light right by her. Then I've got 
my gold reflector in the back and I'm picking up some of this light from the window up here. We can see that's like a punchier light and that's giving her a nice separation slash uh, hair light, however you want to call it. So we'll come in here again. I'm at, okay. right now I'm at uh, ISO 125. I think I'll leave it here. And I'm gonna go faster shutter speed. Work your face this way, mm -hmm. a little more. Okay. And here we can actually control our light. I get that reflector in a little bit, but I just wanna see it. We can see how much shape I can give to this light with this, but let's make it even better. Let's make it even better. I'm gonna bring this guy. Actually, I wanna keep it as a kind of hair light, but I also wanna give you some fill over here. Just my exposure. Okay. See, so yeah, we're building this up. I feel like I want a little bit more fill on that side of me, right here. So when we do that, we'll just bring it up like So we're essentially creating the look that we want. Yeah. Like that. But just to see if it works. Go ahead and just hold it for me for a second. Before I put it up on the stand. Stand that way, you're gonna hold it. Just, I'm just gonna close that. Just balance it a little bit. There we go. So now I'm basically double scrimming it. I'm using the window scrim and I'm using this to shape it. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. Really super, super flat. There it is. There we go, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. You know, it, it might seem like almost like, well, you just close the window again, but it's this combination of things, right? You've got this soft light, and then the light grabs it here, and it really wraps around. Not bad, right? And that golden glow on the back of my head. I've been doing like yoga. This is like goddess. <laughs> <laughs> it's my, my goddess pose. <laughs> I think we're still saying that I'm not a goddess. I'm embracing. <laughs> I'm embracing my inner goddess. Oh, that's so nice and soft and pretty and natural. Who says I wish I had that sauce? Okay, I'll take you. <laughs> Good. Nice and pretty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty. Whew. Really soft. Really pretty. I think I like that the best for you. Soft light is good for Marissa. <laughs> oh, 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 do that again. Look towards Dave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, it's very Hollywood. Here's your Hollywood shot. Stuff like this. Good looking. Oh, yeah, oh, that's good. Yeah, good. Look, I could do it without doing online Photoshop. Okay, so I'm taking advantage of the fact that my windows are super dirty because it's the window. And they're creating this kind of, uh, like a diffusion in and of itself. And I'm putting Marissa right up against it. So we're getting this kind of flare against the windows. The hard light's coming through, but of course, if somebody's against the window with the sun against them, they're just gonna be a shadow on the inside. So we're kind of faking it. We're making it feel a little bit unnatural, but in a kind of a cool glamour way. So I've got this gold reflector here. We get the sun bouncing off, bouncing back, and we're getting kind of this cool, uh, soft window feel, but also, nice kind of punchy light around Marissa. And because it's more or less like a beauty light in its shape, we're getting almost no shadow. Or if we are getting shadow, it's very minimal. And the light is punchy, so we're getting nice uh, cheekbones. We're getting nice, uh, the eyes are bright. There we go. Yeah, look, look up. They're like, oh. There we go. So that's, 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 that's good, good. Just like that. Beautiful like that. Good, good. Nice and easy. I like the way your hair is on my side. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's actually done. <laughs> it's okay. 
I thought you were saying, oh, okay. No, no, I like the hair because it's very cool shape. Inch and upper chin, like project. Yes, yeah, there we go, there we go. Now, just if you can, just open your eyes and look straight ahead of you. Close, 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 close. I'll tell you when. Okay. One, two, three, go. Good. Nice, you got it. Excellent job, Marissa. Yeah, want to see him? Oh. And that's your bad side. Yeah, that's my bad that's side. That's that's the bad side. Well, go ahead, look at him. You have to give an honest opinion. Honest opinion. I, I dig it. It, it better not be there. Ooh. Actually, the eyes closed looks good. good, good. I, you made my paleness look like kind of angelic in a way. Yeah. Usually it looks bad, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's Marissa laughing at me. You're like, oh. glamour. It's so glamour. Ooh. Ooh. Really nice. Oh, I like one. That's a little movie, right? I, I like the blurry window, like how it's all... Uh, I kind of do too. And what's cool about this is that I didn't have to shoot wide open to get that effect because the window being dirty is making things seem out of focus even though I'm shooting. I see, I like the bright ones. They have that kind of like blown out of feel. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. Pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Not, 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 not bad. I not think you... Not bad. You should actually like maybe pursue like, this for better. I do like that, that direction. That is your better slide. Yeah, it is my favorite side. Yeah, your hair is just not as good on that side. you got to work your hair better. There you go. You worked it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, these are cool. I think we got it. Nice. Is there anything here that you see that you want to shoot more of, or do you feel satisfied? Uh, I think... I think it. Awesome. You got it. All right, so I just want to take a second to talk about this shot in particular, right? A lot of times when we think natural light, and when people say, I'm a natural light shooter, I use a lot of natural light, they're usually talking about shooting in the shade, uh, that kind of thing, right? Kind of soft, big, open light, shallowed up the field. That doesn't have to be the way. With tools like this, we can shape our light. And when Marissa came with this kind of glamorous dress, I thought, we need some punchy light. And you have something like a gold reflector or a silver reflector that's metallic. We use the hard sun. We can create that shadow. We can create that kind of blown out Hollywood feel, even with the natural light. Yeah, it's gonna change on you, right? You're gonna have to work fast, you have to be dynamic to make it happen, but you can get all different types of looks with this kind of equipment. And if you don't have the budget for this or you're just starting, find just reflective things, right? Find foam core board, you know, put tin foil on it. You can get, uh, you know, like a, a, these shears for the window or a bed sheet to kind of control it. And natural light is a great way to get started, but it's also a way that you can teach yourself to really learn how to light. All right, guys, I'll put links to everything that we used here in the description so you guys can see the exact gear. I'll put a link to Marissa's info so you guys can follow her. Be sure to follow me, Daniel Martin Photographer, and I'll see you next time on set. Hi there. Thank you for sticking around. If you would like to see some more videos, they will be placed somewhere on the screen for you to click. And also, ring the bell and subscribe. <laughs> I'm too awkward to do this.